Now the directive by the Deputy Speaker, Honorable Gladys Boss, on the 10-minute quorum bell for the House to attain its requisite quorum before the business commences is password to the National Assembly Standing Order Number 34, Part 1, that indicates that a quorum of the House shall be 50 this is a quorum at the commencement of the house business shall be 50 members to be seated in the chambers once the chair is uh, taken uh, but uh, following uh, the lack of that uh, quorum then uh, it has necessitated uh, the uh, deputy speaker who is uh, the one who will be chairing this uh, afternoon sitting to order uh, for a quorum bell to be rung of course for members who may be within the precincts of parliament but yet to walk into the chambers that is of course to alert them that uh, the house requires their presence uh, for the business slated for that particular sitting in this case uh, this afternoon sitting to start uh, standing order 34 part 2 indicates if there is not quorum present when the chair is taken as we have seen at the time appointed of a meeting of the house immediately after the saying of the prayer the speaker shall order the bell to be rung for 10 minutes so if you are just joining us is that uh, the chair has been taken but the house does not have the required number of members inside it that is 50 members or more and that is what has necessitated the quorum bell it is currently underway we will be seeing members walking in much as the chair has been taken but of course this is for the members to walk in as you can see that is honorable Patricia Lachi walking in but of course we can see members already seated and once uh, the quorum is achieved as per the traditions of the house then we will have the subject of terms indicate that the quorum has been achieved and Immediately, the, the speaker shall call the house to order and the business will, without much ado, of course, kick off. But on the highlights of what the members are expected to engage with or engage in this afternoon is that uh, resumption of debate on uh, the amendment, on the employment amendment bill, a bill that is originating uh, from uh, the Senate uh, that is sponsored by the Renewing Jews Member of Parliament, as you can see, Honorable uh, Eric Karemba Mushangi at the entrance. Of course, he will be uh, moving this uh, bill and resumption of debate on it will continue after it was interrupted yesterday in the afternoon sitting. And the amendments that have been proposed in this particular bill, there's an, an insertion of a new section, that is section 27A. This one uh, speaks on the rights or the right that an employee has to disconnect from their employer. Uh, this particular uh, section has uh, around nine, ten subsections, but subsection two indicates that an employer shall, for the purposes of subsection one, which is that an employee has the right to disconnect from their employer, put in place a policy regarding the circumstances under which an employer may contact an employee during out-of-work hours, Use of electronic devices to send or receive information messages or any digital work-related communication during out-of-work hours and circumstances under which the right to disconnect may be waived. Uh, the proposals in this particular amendment also indicate that uh, the policies that uh, will have been adopted or put in place by the employer shall specify the nature of compensation for employees who work during out of work hours uh, that is uh, the leader of the minority party honorable opio wandai also working into uh, the chambers subsection three or indicates that where an employer has employed more than 10 employees such employer shall in formulating a policy under subsection two consult the respective employees where applicable trade union also, other recommendations include the right to disconnect shall be subject to the terms and conditions specified under Section 10. 
section 10 indicates that out of work hours means hours other than the hours of work agreed upon between an employer and an employee in the contract of employment also the right to disconnect means an employee's entitlement not to the contacted not to be contacted by the employer during out of work hours as per the employer's policy so these are just but a few of the amendments that are proposed in this new section, section 27A, uh, that uh, a debate, remember, on this uh, particular uh, bill already took place on the floor of the House, uh, but there are more members to participate in it. Therefore, debate will be resuming in this afternoon sitting after it was interrupted in yesterday's afternoon sitting. The Sajeda terms are keeping tabs with the numbers of the members who are in the chambers once they get to 50 or more then they will be alerting the speaker of course to call the house to order chief majority whip uh, that is honorable silvana sosoro engaging members there on the number and trying to see whether he can whip more members who may be within the precincts but yet to get to the chambers once the number is achieved we will be handing you over back yeah that is the signal that has been the tradition for the national assembly there the quorum has been achieved allow me to hand you over back to this live broadcast my name is kam chemenza good afternoon Order number one, administration of oath. Order number two, communication from the chair. Order number three, messages. Order number four, paper, uh, petitions. Honorable members, 